All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard... Uh, hmm, yeah, I'm for- Hiya, you lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? We're not breaking in for fun. That prick, Nigel Cass, has some big unveiling planned. That's got to be shitty news for us and the city. This is why we joined DedSec, innit? Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right, nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in our pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Interesting. Hit me up with their info, yeah? I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. Refusal to provide the requested... I'm not sure how to go about converting an Albion employee. They're jackbooted thugs who regularly murder civilians. If finding a disenchanted employee is really that difficult, humanity is much worse off than I thought. It would also be quite useful to have someone on the inside. For however long that lasts, Nigel's real good at sniffing out spies. Personal experience speaking? Yeah, not really in a sharing mood right now, fam. like a fighter without a cause. Am I reading you right? Wait, are you with DedSec? I just so happen to need some help. We'll try, and that's more than most. What's going? I have a dear friend who's been very sick. Respiratory illness. NHS has been in bad shape for so long, there's no way for him to get any help. So he took the only option he had, an expensive Clan Kelly doctor. I forked out the cash for him. Go on then. Well, the drugs worked. Oh, did they ever? My friend got hooked on the stuff, and this doctor immediately started raising the price. I want to help, but I don't know how. That's evil with a stethoscope. Don't worry, we'll get your friend's medicine. Um, can I help you? Well, this quote-unquote doctor is a real winner. He was struck off the medical register for gross malpractice last year, and now he's a freelance mob surgeon. Nice work if you can get it. Think you can track him down, Bugs? I am quite literally always tracking everyone down. Pushing you with coordinates now.
turn. The Clan Kelly doctor you're looking for is close by. And he's got a highly secure laptop with him too. That should contain the whereabouts of the drug shipment. There's the laptop. Is it almost done? What did you say? Laptop scraped. Get to safety while I analyze the data. Relax, man. Take a deep breath. I found them at warehouse when experimental drugs are being stored. I'm sure Mary Kelly won't mind if you nick a few. Potentially armed and hostile. Received. Moving in hostile's direction. Where did they go? Shit! I'm detecting a vehicle nearby with at least two years worth of treatments inside. That's more than enough to wean our contact's friend off the treatment. Yep, yep. There's 
the vehicle with the drugs in it. Try not to destroy it. Lock it down. Someone has hacked us. Bloody hackers! Find them! No one here. Moving on. No one here. This is an announcement. For your security, citizens should avoid non-essential travel. Nothing. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm not seeing anyone I'm going somewhere else. Huh, no one. There's Jack Swift going on here. I'm going to look in another place. No one here. Moving on. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's great. Nothing's here. Yeah, no oh, one I'll here. I'll keep else. looking. This is a highly placed Albion informant, or as they're called in America, a narc. And if there's one thing I know about the people of London, it's that they always like to see a rat get his comeuppance. Good on you. Thank you. Got the ride. What's next? I found a safe location where our friend can pick it up. Sending you the coordinates now.
It's done. The drugs are in a truck in a safe location. We'll have our AI Bagley send you the coordinates. Your friend can safely wean off the treatment now. Thank you. I'm in your debt. You could really make a difference, you know. Join DedSec instead of sitting home on your ass. All right. I'm in. Let's have some fun. Possible suspect or suspects. We have an Albion operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. No sign of the target. Over. Disengage. Over and out. I hope this isn't a bad time, but we need your particular skill set for something. I'm ready. Yes, we're getting bigger and bigger. Welcome to Dead Zeg. Oh, yes. I'm ready, willing, and able to serve. Fantastic. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken-by-the-system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look.
Are you supposed to be here? Seems that manky little nerd was the one who kept diverting relief supplies away from the borough to keep everyone in line for Albion. These days you can do a lot more evil with a spreadsheet than a drone fleet. Wonderful. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You Cass expert, you. You seen his puller profile or something? Yeah. I was Albion too, if you hadn't twigged to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <sighs> He was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Give me a break. Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. Dead sex, no better than the terrorists that blew up. I heard someone right. saying dead sex. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have modern. This door clearly requires a security pass. Wonderful. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. No, Director Cass is a genius engineer, but everything he designs is weaponized. I know he's a little obsessed, but he's trying to keep it He's a little obsessed, but he's trying to keep it He's got what he's needed. Checkpoints identified. That might be hard, but I think he likes to come up. Maybe a little bit too much. I wouldn't let anyone else in you saying that. Maybe he's trying to let that go. Yeah. 
It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassini's death. Let's see it. Internal Psych Assessment AS001 Subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Oh my. I'm not one to make light of one's mental health, but Cass clearly has issues. And he's been put in charge of keeping London safe. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. Out of dark. Seems a bit tense. Just trashing everything with machine guns and rockets. Wow, the power is surging through me. What? I don't. How are you getting on with those metrics? The deadline is coming up quickly. We wouldn't do to miss it. He's presenting to the stakeholders right now. I know, I know, but if I mess this up... Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you, with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one. Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the Defence Minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. It's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh, 
No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention. A building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to dock breach. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. How the bloody hell do I get out of here, Bangs? The catacombs, fam. Go, go, go! Made you an action in there, didn't you? Man can be very uh, persuasive. Anyone can be with a gun in hand. It's crass. He does seem in a hurry to launch this Themis project. None of what I've heard is comforting. this one bit. was that? Fucking hell. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine. And it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Will we see you there, Hamish? Pretty face, not risking, remember? 
But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. I've got nothing here so far. Stand down! What's his story, Bags? Well, he's Mr. Popular for one thing. Not only does he have an active arrest warrant, but the Kellys have a bounty on his head. Impressive. Wonder what it takes to make that many enemies. Good question. You could dig around and see what turns up. Bloody brat. Returning to HQ. I'll start the briefing whenever you're ready. Oh, me, this is massive. I never thought we'd get this kind of reach. What do you mean? It's fucking Stormzy. You know, Bossy Bob, shut up. Bloody Glastonbury. The man sent us a message and he's asking for dead sec by name. We're in the big times now, mate. We got us a fucking high profile contract right here. Lovely. I'll send you the message. And for the love of fucking God, do not cock this up. What's good, dead sec? Ready for more police work? I was able to intercept a Clan Kelly laptop. It's full of Clan Kelly accounting data. Substantial amounts have been diverted to an unrelated account. Skimming the cream, are they? If this person is double-crossing the Kellys, then we're a match made in dead sec heaven. You may be right. I believe Bagley has a lead. Good luck. You heard, Mr. Ormsey. Dead Tech has a role to play in this. Now backdoor Albion's servers and let's get this elite... Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus which is never good. Titus does other work with Albion. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Titus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack. So Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Albion's been working on a new micro drone, something my contact told me about. That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To bypass Titus security. Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot will have a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys.
There's one other computer connected to the same network. It's at the old canal warehouse. I'm not gonna let my blood boil over this situation. Whoa! I never mess with this. Hey, it's bringing out the bot work. Shit, bollocks. You're not kidding. I was out here for the deli a couple of days. I just can't handle Coming up on the Albion drone facility where the micro drone is being developed. I hope this will be worth the risk. It will be. You're going to need to disable the security system protecting the R&D lab. Security is down in the R&D lab. The plans for the microdrome will be in there somewhere.
activity will result in arrest. I've had enough. Stand back. Let's make this. I've downloaded the schematics. You can leave whenever you like. Now that we have the schematics, we can make micro-drones of our very own. Better move fast on that, Bags. We need to get into Tidus ASAP. Shut down Project Themis before Nigel decides to launch. And with what he was saying, we don't have much time. We've successfully trialled our first micro-drone, and it's officially as cute as the Dickens. I've decided to name it Sebastian. Time to break into Titus. And take away Nigel Cass's newest toy, Project Themis. Bagley, any idea where that name comes from? Greek mythology. Themis was the goddess of divine justice. You know, the one with the sword. Ooh, that is so Nigel fucking Cass. See? School's useful for something besides social maladjustment. Find the schematics of the building, and I'll work out the location of the Themis project.
Give me a break. Stop playing on your optics. <gasps>
searching elsewhere. Keep your eyes open. Clear. Moving on. All clear. Moving on. Fuck. We will find you. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, still looking. Idiot. All good. I'll try somewhere else. Help me! Wrapping your Like that? Look round for anything named Themis. Of course. Easy peasy. Well, if I was hiding a top secret morally dubious drone project like Themis, I would put it in the secure vault on the lowest level. You will have to hack your way past some pretty serious security, however. The elevator that leads to the secure vault that houses Themis is locked down. You will have to access the bypass terminal to use it. You will require a spider bot. You'll be using Sebastian and the rest of the microdrones to bypass security. But first you'll have to get by that laser array. I suggest a spider bot and steady nerves. Of course. Easy peasy. Are 
Our job is Security lockdown initiated. Alright Sebastian, this is what you and your friends have been training for. Time to crash the security grid for Daddy. Go forth little drones. Show Daddy what you can do. That's the spirit. She'll be pretty sick. Sebastian, no! 
right then, no time for tears. Meet Sebastian, another of our countless microdrone allies. All named Sebastian, of course. You can't iterate on perfection.
There are the cores. Destroy them, Sebastian. And for God's sake, be careful. Sebastian. Oh, right. You should be able to access the Themis project room now. Let's ruin Nigel's fucking day! London, once a beacon of civility, now a cesspool of lawlessness. It is clear that humanity can no longer police itself. Fortunately, we don't have to. Welcome to Project Themis. Albion has found a way to apply an existing system, LifeScore, a data aggregator of biometrics, personal information to our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Fuck me, I knew it! The life score algorithm, my algorithm. I should have scrubbed it before I left. What do you mean, Hamish? You know how Themis works. No, fam. Well, yeah, this was years ago. We were developing a life score algorithm for what Cass called a peacekeeping system. Supposed to identify vulnerable civilians, not target them. Bloody hell. So in theory, Themis could be programmed to target anyone based on any number of parameters. Exactly. That's the way Cass thinks. Genius, but twisted. We have to stop this, and I know how. We delete the life score data, and Themis is done. Oh, for Christ! All right. And Finny. Yes, we'll have the award ceremony another time. Get out now. This may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. No, no more excuses. This is my city, and I will not have DedSec ruin my plans for it. Themis was poised to change London, the world. And this group of... And Hamish fucking Balaji? I want them all! They made you all look like fools! They walked calmly into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So do any of you have anything to say? 
Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be revetted immediately. Someone help them, that's certain, and we will root them out. This time, we will get them all. Well, that's about done it. Cass is going to steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You did it. It was a group effort, Hamish. We wouldn't have gotten very far without your help. And we'll need your help again next time we take on Nigel Cass. Uh, not much of a joiner, fam. Considering how my days at Albion ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember them? Completely gutted DedSec 1.0. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings, so we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. Oh my, I am rather good at this DedSec business, aren't I? You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. You sure know how to sweet-talk a gentleman. What would a resistance be without a cocky little AI shit? He will grow on you eventually. In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi's down or something. Is that really relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke where you just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. 